Welcome. In this video, we will be installing the Flexco HV2 pre-cleaner. Before starting the installation, we will confirm we have all the cleaner components, mounting bolt kit, IOM packet, and all the required tools. Then once the conveyor has been physically locked and tagged out, we can begin the installation. So the first step in installing a pre-cleaner is we have to determine our pulley diameter. And we're going to measure the pulley diameter including the lagging and the belting. So our first step is to determine the shaft diameter. We get that by drawing a plumb line on either side of the shaft. Then we would measure between those lines to determine our shaft diameter. In this case, it's two and a half. Next, we're going to come off the side of the shaft, measure the distance to the edge, including, again, our lagging and belting, which in this case is nine and a half. So now we have our shaft and we have half our pulley diameter. So we'll double this, the pulley diameter, the half, and then add the uh, shaft in, which would give us 21 and a half. After we determine that, we'll go to our IOM and we'll cross-reference that pulley diameter with the arms that we need. In this case, they'll be small and the coordinates that we'll lay out for them. So we'll have an X six and five eighths, a Y sixteen and a half, and a C seventeen and three eighths. The X is going to represent how far out we're going to come. The Y is going to be how far down we're going to come. And the C is going to be those numbers squared. Now that we have our X, Y, and C coordinates, we can transfer those to our chute wall, or in this case our plate, to determine where we're going to cut the hole for our pole. The way we're going to do that is we're going to Go back to our two plumb lines. We measure between those to get the center of our shaft. We'll go half of that. So this line will represent the center of our shaft. From here, we're going to measure out six and five eighths, which is our X dimension. And we're going to draw our plumb line. So next, we're going to need to find our Y dimension. So for this, rather than using this method, we're going to come off the bottom of the shaft, which means we're going to have to deduct inch and a quarter from our Y dimension, which would give us 15 and a quarter. We'll draw us a level line. And this will represent 
the center of our pole. Now the first thing we're going to do after we have these lines drawn is we're going to double check our C dimension is correct. So our C dimension's 17 and 3 eighths. So we're going to come off of that because we're going to uh, take our measurement from the side of the shaft. So this would equal 16 and an eighth. Absolutely perfect. Next, we can use our template to draw out uh, our boundaries for where we're going to cut. So you can use this template in this orientation or this orientation. And due to the fact uh, we have no steel down here, we would opt to, to put the holes up top. So what you would do is line up the notches in your template with the crosshairs we've, we've already drawn. Now we're ready to cut. Now that we've got our holes cut, now we're ready to start installing our cleaner. The first step in that is to install our offset bracket. Like we talked about earlier, you could install it in this orientation, but because of our available steel, we're going to mount it in this orientation. prefer you to install the bolts from outside to in to prevent any obstruction out here. Repeat this on the other side and we're ready to install our cleaner. To do that we're going to need to remove our cushions and tips. The first step there is going to be to remove the cushion covers. Now that we have our covers removed, we can start to remove our cushions and tips. If you have access to an impact wrench, it makes this job tremendously quicker. Now we're ready to install our pole. While we're installing our pole, my partner neglected to realize there was a clearance issue on the offset bracket. So now we've got to remove our offset bracket. Now with our obstacle removed, we can install our pole. Then we'll reinstall our offset bracket. Now we're going to reinstall our cushions and tips. In order to do that, we're going to put our threaded rods in the slots. We're going to move them to the back of the slots away from the pulley, snug the uh, nuts up for adjustment later. Again, an impact wrench will make this job go much, much faster. Now we're ready to install our mounting plates and tensioner. When installing our mounting plate, we need to always remember to put our keyway facing to the pulley. Before tightening these up, we need to make sure our, our 
mounting bracket is centered on our offset bracket. Now we're going to center our cleaner on the pulley and then we're going to install our locking collar. Now it's time to install our tensioner. We can rotate the tensioner any way of four places around our mounting plate, keeping in mind space constraints or ease of maintenance. Now it's time to rotate our blades up to the belt. Then we're going to set our threaded rod adjustment. We want about an inch to inch and a half of the threaded rod to the top exposed. Then we're going to push our torque arm up against that and tighten our set bolts. And lastly, our jam nuts. Now we're ready to make our final adjustments. What we need to do is adjust our tensioner, trying to get one of our tips making light contact with the belt. Then we'll make adjustments for all the others to match that. After that, we'll tighten all of our hardware and then replace our cushion covers. Now that we've got our cushions and tips adjusted and our hardware tightened, it's time to replace our cushion covers. Now we're ready to set our tension. We're going to do that using our spring length chart. We're going to measure when we tension from the top of the torque arm up the side of the spring to the top of the washer. So we've got an HV2 cleaner, 36 inch belt, a short arm, and a white spring. So that tells us we're going to tension this to five and five eighths. Lastly, we'll set our jam nut. We've now completed the installation of Flexco's HV2 pre-cleaner.